Greetings, fellow adventurers. This is Venture, and welcome back to An Oblivion Tale. Now, um, a couple episodes ago, we found the saddest troll ever. He was super sad, super depressed, and he actually jumped off a bridge and drowned, and it was really sad. Um, but we brought him back because we have the power of console commands, and so he's back. He's cool. He's happier now, I think. He ate some Nurn Root. He feels better now. Um, but we have a small problem, because he's not actually a follower, but I really want him to be a follower, like a full-time follower on the series. I want him to follow us around. But, um, you guys have sent in a ton of comments about him, because you guys seem to really like the fact that we are basically rescuing him from his depression, and that is something to get behind, and I think you guys are really enjoying that, and I'm really hyped for that, but I've tried all of your suggestions. I've done everything, all the console commands, the ad script package commands, and all that kind of stuff. It's not working, because he's not actually an NPC, he's not like a human, I guess, so the game isn't recognizing that he can even be a follower, so if I, if I put those commands in, he just stands there. He doesn't follow me. It acts like it took them, but it doesn't actually do anything. Um, I've tried turning his AI on and off, doesn't help anything, he just stands there and he won't actually walk with me. So, I'm not sure how to do that, we'll probably have to get a little more creative with it. Maybe there's something I'm missing. If not, I could um, see if there's some mods. Possibly some mods. Some people have suggested a couple could go the mod route to get him. But I just want him in our group because I think that I think that we really need that because that would make this series all the more special to have a truly special case on our hands of a follower that is one of a kind truly because I've never seen anyone with a troll following around in these games ever. I am walking somewhere and I don't know where actually. Um, we currently don't actually have anything we're doing. I don't think. Um, we have the the we have the arenas currently going on. But a lot of you guys also left a lot of comments because I've been reading a lot of your comments because I really do. I read all of your comments every single time on the video. So um, uh, there's been a ton of comments being left about the whole Oblivion Gate thing about whether you guys want to see them on screen or not. Someone's going to attack us. What was that? What what's going on? Sorry, why? Why is? Sorry, why are you wearing Mimi's helmet? Where? Where did you? Can you be? How? No, that's fine. You, you've... Okay, that's they're just sharing helmets now. That's fine. I didn't apparently know that could happen, but apparently it does. Probably a different one. I don't even know. Wait, Mimi. Wait, I took Mimi's off. What did I do with the helmet? Did I drop the helmet on the ground? And would Desari pick up things that I drop? That would explain where that. Well, I don't drop gold on the ground. Anyway, um, yeah, you guys have been leaving comments about the Oblivion Gates. Whether you want to see them on screen or off screen, you want me to close them, you know, off camera so that the entire episodes aren't taken up with the uh, Oblivion Gates. And it's like a split, like 60-40. Uh, sixty percent of you don't want to see the gates on screen. You guys don't want to see anything to do with closing gates on camera. Um, forty percent of you want to see them on camera. So to play it safe, I figure I'm probably not going to show the smaller gates, like the little normal gates that I have to close to um, free the cities so that they'll give me their help or whatever. So I'll do that off camera. So the little gates you guys won't have to watch. But, if it's ever a big gate, or a boss gate, or anything to do with that kind of stuff, I will show it in the episode. That way, each person, or each side, not each person, it's not one person on each side, but each, each side gets kind of what they want. So, there will be some more gate closing, but not just all the little ones, because there's like 12 little ones I've got to do. Which is, I don't, I'm going to do those off camera. But anyway, i got to figure out what we're actually supposed to be doing currently. Um, let's see, what do we have currently? Uh, the Grave Finder's Repose. M Malene at the Roxy Inn in the Wilderness, north of the Imperial City, has asked me to help her rid the area of a necromancer who calls herself Raylan, the Grave Finder. Raylan can be found in a Moss Rock Cavern to the north. We've just got ourselves a quest. Let's go do that. Where is that? There it is. Okay, so we were already at the caves, so this is going to be super easy. Super easy, nice and breezy, light and cheesy. What? Cheese isn't easy. Cheese is hard. I mean, it's not hard. It's like... It's it not it's not the easiest. I mean cheese can be tough sometimes. It's not like cake. Cake is super easy. Hits why it's 
the cakewalk. What? That's not even a thing. Anyway, so we're gonna go in here. We're gonna kill somebody. Hey, um, hello. Yep, definitely necromancer in here because guess what? Skeletons are moving, and we don't. Skeletons can't move because they don't got muscles. Okay. Um, what is this? What is that? Okay. Um, hello, necromancer that goes by the name of Raylan the Gravefinder. Um, I'm here. I'm a asylum weaver. I'm here with my friends Mimi. Sorry. Uh, we just currently are actually have on a contract to just, you know, kind of eliminate you from the world of the living. Just, it would be great if you would help us along with that. You know, try and make it as easy as possible. Also, someone in the comments noticed that I have a son of screwdriver, but for some reason I keep lockpicking because I don't even need lockpick anymore. I have a son of screwdriver, so let's just do that. I'm gonna put that on super secret six buttons. Now when I press six, it's like. Sonic the Screwdriver! Awesome. But now, how do I get my sword back? I need to put my sword on something. What do I have? What do I have? Two? Two. Nothing, nothing's using two. So now I got my sword. Boom! Quick. Oh, that's gotta be. Hey, Raylan the Grave Finder! Hi! Hi! No, come back! Uh, we, uh,. We're delivering your television for installation. Uh, you bought an a, a HD definition 4K. It's a, it's a, it's a Vizio. You want to put it on the wall over there or the wall over here? I think it would look real good up against those mossy rocks. Because this is moss. Well, oh, no, nope, never mind. We're punching things. Wait, why do you guys not have swords? Where where'd so many swords go? Okay, 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 well, this is, this is, oh, well, that, that was murder. We just, we murdered, okay. I've slain Raylan the Gravefinder. I should return to Malin at the Roxy Inn and deliver the good news. I will deliver the good news. Don't even worry about that news. And now I get to keep the HDTV for myself. That HDTV is going to sit firmly on my desk. And I'm going to be watching, like, all them, all them Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Because that is, that is historically accurate. Wait, come back here, dude. Oh, I'm sorry, that was a woman. Ah, dude, it looked, sounded like a woman. Sound like it was a dude, sound like a woman. That's what I got out of that. Great, well, this place is lovely. Oh, what's this? Oh, good, it's a shrine to something terrible. Um, no, don't open it. There's a trap. How do you disarm a trap? Like, theoretically. If I was to theoretically. Actually, why don't I just use my sonic screwdriver and stand all the way across the room and open it from here? Did that work? Did that work? Did that work? Is it still going to kill me? Resist frost, 7% on self. That's good. 7% is frost resistance and 7% more of frost, frost resistance than I had 5 seconds ago. I can't talk. That's hard to say. You can't say 7% of frost resistance without feeling like you're going to choke on your own saliva. What is this? Okay. Cool. Cool. Let me just... Sonic screwdriver hit open! Okay. I don't know why I'm taking half this stuff. I don't even know what that is. The mystery of ta, ta la 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 la. Oh, that was my favorite book. I remember in middle school, uh, we had like a book reading prog um, project, and uh, I read the mystery of ta la 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 la, and it was so great. I mean, the characters were so good. Did I already open this? No, I didn't. But it was uh, it was unlocked. But I was trying to unlock it anyway because that's what I do sometimes. I just sometimes try to unlock things that are already locked. Is that a that's that's definitely a dead end. But yeah, the 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 the, the what was it? What did I say it was? The Legend of Tal Tal La La La. la. I, that was a great book. That's one of those books for the history books. What? Anyway, I got a sword. Hey, hey, hi. You can say I'm gonna cut in. <laughs> get it? Get it? <laughs> oh, we're just slashing prices. That was a joke, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, no, shut up. There we go. Put that. Put it away. There we go. Thank you. Okay. The War Axe of Frost. Someone needs to come up with better names because, let's just be honest, these names are kind of not original whatsoever. Okay. Wow, that's that's really flattering right there. You just definitely get little shorts on and everything. That's great. Okay. Um, what am I supposed to do with this? Uh, what, what, what did I pick up? Oh, it's a Necromancer's Cloak. It has absolutely no defensive capabilities whatsoever, but it looks cool. I mean, it definitely, definitely looks cool. I'm going to wear this just for a little while, just so we can get our heads taken off by the next thing we come through. I'm going, I look cool, right? I look like a Jedi warrior that's really angry for some reason. I'm, like, really, really frustrated with the fact that they really need to, like, lower their prices on HD televisions, because this video, Vizio, set me back three months of rent just for this television. I don't even know why. I don't even know why. 
because we kind of killed the person we're supposed to purchase. Why are we still going through this cave? This cave was supposed to be over. We already killed the person. Why not just turn around and leave? Why am I still in here? I don't know. I'm mumbling about nothing. I am mumbling about nothing. We have a comment from a fellow adventurer. This comment comes from Athena Dragon Forest. What is a dragon forest? Is it a forest made out of dragons, or is it a forest where dragons live? Which would probably actually make more sense than a forest of dragons, because, like, I could picture, like, maybe all these dragons died and their skeletons all look like trees a little bit, like they're stuck in the ground, and then it looks like a forest, but it's made out of dragon bones. That would be epic. I would pay to go there. I'd pay fifteen ninety nine to go there. Not any more, not any less. Fifteen ninety nine exactly. If it's any more or any less, I'm not going to Disney World. Anyway, uh, they say, Herbert Butt Kicker, what is your favorite thing about doing YouTube? And that is an easy one, because it is you guys. Because, basically, you guys are the reason I do it. Your input, your suggestions, your... Is that a- that is a person sleeping behind- Oh, come on, dude. Dude, get up. This is unhealthy. You can't sleep with- with your face in some plants. There's, like, bugs and stuff. You're gonna have lice, man. You're gonna have lice the size of your legs. Just get- just stand up and move. Just, like, stand up and move. How about you sleep in this well? It would probably actually be better for your health. Entirely better for your health. You should probably think about doing that. Anyway, but yeah, you guys are the reason I'm doing this, because I love seeing your reactions to things. What you guys think of each episode. Like, the troll episode, for example. You guys really loved the, the episode where I saved the troll, and we, we made the troll our friend. And I think that... I don't know. I just like when you guys show positive... Um... I don't know. Re <laughs> I almost said reviews. You guys are critics. You guys are the critics of this channel, but no. Um, yeah, I just, I guess, I guess when you guys are involved. That's why I've been trying to involve you guys more and more, like, with these comments and with the different things and the fan challenges and things we've been doing. It's, true. it's just, I like keeping I you guys involved no with whatever we're doing, so it feels like you are playing the game with me, not just watching me play the game, which is what I'm aiming for. Also, this place is entirely yellow every time I come in here. It's just always yellow. Hey. I assume you've dealt with Raylan appropriately. I definitely, I've got a TV... Um, in the cart outside, it's great, high definition, you could put it right over there on top of the mantelpiece, uh, it's great, goes for a base price of 4,967 gold coins, if you were to pay me that, I would leave this with here, here with you, um, you'd have a TV, you can't turn it on, there's no power in this world, and there's nothing to watch on it, um, you could just pretend it's like a really fancy, really crappy mirror doesn't really have a reflection, but you could pretend. Everyone would think you basically just have the monolith from 2001 hung up in your end, and it it would really drive business to this place, because they'd want us to come see this big piece of black plastic that humans love so much. Um, Raylan Gravefinder's dead. I realize it's in poor taste to celebrate anyone's demise, but Raylan was evil through and through. You've done the right thing. Well, thank you. I'm glad that I did the I right thing. I believe we had a contract. Here's my oh, part. I'm ready. You know what? This is the last time I ever do anything, anything for anyone, ever. Seventy gold. Nothing Thank I'd like you. to talk about. Seventy gold. She said, she said that she was going to give me a handsome reward. You know what seventy gold is? Seventy gold will give me a coke out of the lotus nearest machine. Okay, I don't go six seventy gold pieces into the nearest coke machine because don't do that, by the way. Because one, the Coke machines won't take gold pieces. I've tried. Two, gold is worth a lot more than a nickel. Let's just put that out there. Even though Coke machines don't take nickels, they take quarters. So don't try nickels either. I don't think they work. Um, I haven't tried that one. Anyway, what are we doing now? Well, that was the quickest, easiest quest I've ever seen in my entire life. That was actually ridiculously easy. Uh, we have another comment from another fellow adventurer because there's lots of comments coming in everywhere. Anyway, Veneer Florentine says, Vent, I've got something for you to type into the console. This is a huge comment. Type in... P oh, look at that! Whoa, what the crap? Why was it blinky? Anyway, type in... Uh, player... Add item space four nine one seven F space one and hit enter. Water walking boots added. Ooh, thank you, Veneer. All right. Also, here's a command to help you with your leveling up. Yeah, I need help with this. Just type in address level. Hit enter, and you're all set. Oh wow. That was easy. Okay, hit in your set, have fun. Sorry if the comment is all smashed together, something is wrong with my computer. P.S. You're pronouncing my first name, Veneer, perfectly right. Florentine could use some work. I pronounce it Florentine. 
You still have my permission to say it incorrectly. Though. That's good, because I probably will still say it incorrectly. But Florentine. It's veneer Florentine. Okay, I got it now. I got it. Okay, so, I have reached level 4, the most legit and perfectly not illegal way possible. Alright, let's put up this, let's put up these three, because these three are bonus right now for some reason. And exit. Okay, how do I actually leave? Oh, there we go. It's gone. Whoa! We are, we are level 4! Wow! That was the first time I leveled up in like 15 episodes, which is great. But I have to basically do it with the console commands because I'm terrible. Where are your swords? Why do you have what no swords? What can I do for- Where's your sword? Hang on. What happened to your sword? What happened? You have a fire and steel warhammer. Why are you not using it? Oh, so now, now oh. I have to go- Oh! Oh! Stop! What is happening to you? No! No! You look like milk that's gone bad! It's not- It's not good, okay? Whatever disease you have currently growing anywhere here, can you not have it happening right now? Okay? Great! Just put your sword back and stop doing that! I don't know what's causing that, but it's really starting to freak me out, okay? I'm gonna look at Asylum. He's terrified! He's never seen milk that's gone bad like that before! You're terrifying the poor child! Don't do that to him! Anyway, let's continue on. Alright, so what else is there to do? Let's see what else we got going on. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Click all the buttons! Click them all! Okay. Oh, I'm great fighters. Okay, wait, that's completed quests. We don't want to do completed quests, because once you've already done them, you don't want to do them again. That's just not, that's not how you do this game. Okay, pilgrimage. I have, oh gosh, the way shrines. Let's get some of those out of the way, then. Let's just get some of the, come on, where's the other way shrines? How many could there possibly be? Okay, so we got one out of the way. We just need to... They're not even marked. Where are... They don't even mark them. Wait, that's right. There was a map. There was a way shrine map. They're going to make me do this. One at a time. Okay, we are currently standing somewhere near... I have... We're up here, maybe? Okay, so Julianos is right at the road... Leading away from the Imperial City. Let's go there. That one's super easy, probably. It's right here. So, there is nothing in that entire area we've ever been to before. So, this is going to be a great adventure. How am I supposed to get there? I guess I go here and go south. South from there will lead us to the correct destination. I spawned inside of a bush. That's not good. Okay. We have got to go... Oh, Living Gate. Okay, south is right towards the Living Gate. Because, of course, it is. Because, of course, it is. Alright, so Asylum looks pretty awesome. He looks basically like it's a Final Fantasy character running around with his coat on. Look at this, I'm gonna go like do some Final Fantasy stuff. I don't even know what Final Fantasy stuff is, actually. It's just usually a lot of really anime looking people with really large weapons who, I don't know, kill things? I don't, I don't do Final Fantasy, okay? I don't understand it. Okay, let's continue going south. Let's try not to run into the nearest... Ooh, what is that? Longman's Burrow. This looks weird. Closed until further notice. Commander Adam Mufilet. Wait, what is this? That is weird. I've never seen anything like that before. It's like a little hobbit hole. It's a little hobbit hole here in the middle of nowhere. I don't know. You can't get in, though. It's acting like you can, but the door's closed. I'm going to try using my Zonic screwdriver. Boop! No, it gets done. A screwdriver doesn't work on dirt and rock, but it should. How do you open this? It says it's closed, but I don't want it to be. I want it to be open. I want to go inside the burrow. Is there another door back here somewhere? No, there's a cave all the way over there, but that's not even the same place. I guess I'll just continue on. Just pretend I didn't see Where it. Where are you? What? Your presence here will not be tolerated. What? What did I do? Who did what? I'm going to leave you slow. Why won't you die? Ha! Die! Ha! Okay! You guys done beating up bat babies? That's great. Let's just continue moving. Okay, we're going south. We are currently nowhere near the road we need to be at. Because we are going way too slow. We gotta hurry it up. Hurry it up. Be like the Flash. Gotta run real fast. Gotta get places before they open. What? 
I don't even know. I don't even. Sometimes I say things and it doesn't make any sense. Okay. Let's just continue along. Let's just continue walking, waltzing, skipping, and skadoodling onwards. They say skadoodling, right? That's a thing. Right? They, that's totally... They, they say skadoodle. Like, skadoodle's a word, right? Like, it sounds like a... It sounds like a... Like, it sounds like a cool word. Like, if I could... If I could possibly have, like, a middle name, my my middle name would be skadoodle. Like, I think a, a skadoodle would be a good middle name, because if anyone ever asks you, hey, what's your middle name, you could really catch them off guard with that one. Like, they wouldn't know whether or not you were being serious, or whether or not it was just a joke, and I think at that point, you would really be able to really get inside their head and know what kind of a person they really are, because if they laugh when you say your middle name is Skadoodle, you know that's a best friend for life. You know you have found the right person at that point. So, we're still going south, and I still have not found what I'm supposed to be looking for. Apparently there's a shrine out here somewhere, what I've, I've been told. I've been told by the ancient voices that there's a shrine of old that sits here. Also, what is that? There's nothing on this entire road. This entire road has no map markers. Why are there no map markers on this road? It's, all roads need map markers. That should be a rule. It should be a rule to have map markers. Okay, we go this way. It says it's up the road this way. Just follow the road and we should see the shrine. It should be super obvious. I mean, how many shrines do you know along the road? How many could you pop? There's a deer. Someone killed a derpalope. Dropped his venison everywhere. It's just like, boom. If I killed a deer with a stick of dynamite, it would be like a venison rainbow. <laughs> let's, just, let's just keep moving. Okay, um... The acrobatics increased. Great, at least I have one skill that'll go up, because I jump a lot. I'm just jumping all over... Wait, is that it? Is, that a sh is this a shrine, or is this just a, a large toilet bowl? This is the toilet bowl of the ancients. Awesome! Well, that... Ow! Somebody just punched me in the kidney. What was that? Oh, good, it's a wolf. Punched me with his fists. I don't know how that happened. Okay, well, that's one shrine down of, like, 36 trillion. We're just... We're slowly moving our way there. We should be done by the year 26,000 AD. What? Anyway, 26,000... What do I even say? Anyway! I'm sorry, I'm, I'm look, you guys look, this is, look at the looks I get from my followers because I'm weird. I'm not, okay, no, I'm fine. I'm sorry, I take it back. Got some great. Go get some lemonade or something. That is all for this time. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment, and we'll see you next time.